welcome back to Motorhoming in the Slow Lane. I'm Sarah and this is Lee. In 2020, we bought our first motorhome, Sophia, and we travel as much as we can with our two crazy beagles, Bella and Lexi. Why not hit that subscribe button and follow us on the road? So good morning, it is Sunday. We have had a really lazy morning, which is not like us. Um, we've been working super hard and I think we literally came away and have just chilled, which is perfect for us. Uh, the people that were next to us yesterday have subscribed to our channel, so thank you ever so much. Uh, we really enjoyed meeting you and your family. So today I think what we're going to do is going to have a bit of brunch now and then we're going to take a walk up the mountain road. Um, I think there's a wind farm, lots of sheep um, and we're just going to do a circular walk and back to the campsite and then I think later on tonight we are going to go to the pub and have a cheeky pint um, and then we'll pay for the pitch. So the pitch here, like I think we said yesterday, is £8 per night. That includes electricity, 10 amps, um, grey waste, rubbish, and uh, you can also empty your toilet, which Lee is going to do next. But unfortunately, it's at the pub, which is up the mountain road and to the left. Being in your motorhome is not all sunshine and pleasure. There are some uh, blue jobs that have got to be done. And I've got my least favourite one to do now. Problem is, I've got to get the toilet cassette up there. There's no uh, no disposal site on the campsite. It's up at the pub. So, wish me luck. All done. So, um, the chemical point is uh, just up up there, outside the uh, kitchen door of the uh, pub which was fine until the owner come up and started to chatting, which is not the ideal time to be chatting when you are rinsing away stuff that should never be seen. But there we go. Um, all good, all clean, ready to go. Um, and ready for the rest of the day. So you can see we have arrived at Betis Wind Farm. And they've got some very, very strict notices on here. And I've tried to read the sign behind it because being a safety manager, I'm uh, always interested in those things. But it's almost faded away but it's very dangerous on that side so we've walked to the middle of the wind farm as you can see there's a windmill coming out of Lee's head um, and we are surrounded by the windmills so Sarah and I have done it again. We've come out for a very short walk and ended up up a very big hill. Um, we are currently at Penchler Castle. So for any Welsh viewers, I apologise for having butchered uh, that name. But this, this castle, as far as castles go, it's a little bit of a disappointment. Um, obviously a, a very, very old castle. But the views from here are amazing. So you, you can see all around. We're in the middle of the, the Betis Wind Farm and we can see other wind farms in the distance. But we can see all the way out to the uh, Bristol Channel. You can see um, Port Talbot, that's just off there in the distance. And then right across the other side of the channel, we can just make out Devon. And I think, having a quick check on Google Maps, I'm not 100%, but I think we've got just about to see Minehead, Porlock, um, and down to about Coombe Martin or so, I reckon. But that's just uh, going off Google Maps and having a quick guess.
Where was my fall? You needed to fall for the camera. I already fell over. Yeah. I think you forget I've got broken legs. Whoop. She's being dramatic saying broken legs. I've got very poorly knees. They're not broken legs are they? So we forgot to bring our little barbecue with us. So yesterday when we were in town we bought one of these cheap little disposable barbecues. So I'm going to light that and we're going to cook some meat. These things aren't the easiest to cook on but we've got some uh, some pork loin, some sausages and some burgers. Yum yum. So I'll give you an overview of the campsite. So this is Lee at the edge of the campsite with this beautiful view. Here is Sophia. And then this is literally the whole of the campsite. It fits five people. These are your beautiful views. Down there you can walk your dogs. Absolutely spectacular. Eight pound per night. So that's not a bad view for a barbecue, is it? I think that's probably our best view when we've had a barbecue. So we've just had a, a lovely meal, um, come in to do the washing up and realised that we had a leak all the way through the sink and down through the cupboards. So um, I haven't had a look, it looks like this is a previous repair by the previous owner, not me. Um, and basically there's a load of sealant there that's given out. So I'm currently in the process of trying to clean it up. Um, the sink is partly corroded so I don't know if I'm going to be able to rescue it. So you can see there that some of the metal there is just rusted away. Something's been placed in there. So I've I've found a rubber a piece of rubber that I'm going to try and place in there. And I'm going to use what we always use to get us out of these situations, a good bit of Sikaflex, um, and see if I can repair it. So fingers crossed. Okay, so I've uh, taken the plug hole out and put it all back together. Um, obviously using a bit of Sikaflex around the plug hole but I'm also Sikaflexing on, on the underside of the plug hole because that appears to be where the problem was originally so I'm just uh, belts and braces so I'm getting my hand well stuck in um, as you can see the van is quite messy it would be the day we cooked the biggest meal ever. I know, so that's all been dried and tidied up. So it's like a little spring clean. And then outside we've got the two bits of carpet and some drawers that are drying. So um, I think we're gonna wash up in the bathroom sink for tonight. What are you doing, Sarah? So I'm cleaning up the bathroom sink after we've just washed up in the sink because that one, the sealant is drying. But the good thing is, in Sophia, when you use the tap in the kitchen, this tap here, it makes the tap work in the kitchen. So we've had to put the dog bowl in the kitchen sink to make sure that that water doesn't leak into the new sealant. But also, I'm not going to show this on camera because it's pretty gross, but our shower, this one here, also leaks. So I've had to pop that in a special kind of area because that makes lots of water while I'm washing up. So yeah, enjoying the world of a 31 year van and the fact that the man had it before us was a complete and utter beep.